two. Oh. We're, we're gonna we're gonna go dive in deeper tonight. If I can share my screen. Thank you, Lord. All right. If I can just share my screen, we can get into the lesson. Tonight we're going to be studying Acts chapter 2, verses 22 to 42. But before we get into scripture text, I'm going to ask the opening question. What does it mean to share the gospel? It means to share the good news of Jesus Christ's coming, um, of his of his sacrifices, his bread, his death, resurrection, his death, burial, and resurrection to give to save our souls from a dying, from dying and going to hell. Mm. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, mother. It's to let people know that life is, doesn't have to be grim. It it can be better, and it it usually is once you find out and you accept Christ. Everything gets better, and you want to see everybody saved. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Mother. What does it mean to the gospel? And in sharing, it also means that uh, what I've learned in life is that when you share, you're not only speaking out of your mouth, but you are also doing it in your everyday walk, your everyday living. Mm. So you can you can share in multiple ways. Uh, there's giving, there's speech, there's action. Uh, so we can't get stuck so much in just the verbal. Uh, but you know you can you can share the word uh, via the social medias now. You can type. You can you can do a lot of things that we couldn't do before. We can reach the masses. You know, kind of easier than what uh, the father had had to utilize. You know, with walking by foot and sailing. So you know, um, we we have an, a venue and an avenue that we can go uh, that most in those days could not. So we, we do have the upper hand um, as far as reaching uh, from the North, the East, the East, the South and the West. Mm. That's good. Anybody else like to share? What does it mean to share the gospel? When I think about sharing the gospel, it, it uh, and, and thank you, Minister Maurice. Um, um, I just see it as the as an opportunity to make Christ accessible in the land. He has no mouth but our mouths. He has no hands but our hands. And when they see us, they should see him. Mm. And so our sharing is. Um, uh, there's a responsibility that comes with that because if we're walking one thing and talking something different, um, we're not really sharing, but we're confusing. And mm. if, we, if we're going to be a light, um, we can't be hid, but uh, we must shine. Mm. I know that... Uh, Elder Hendricks can probably say it a whole lot better than I can. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. <laughs> uh, sorry for my tardiness. I overlooked the clock tonight and I was trying to cook, but I'm here anyway. What does it mean to share the gospel? Number one, it means to share the good news. Mm the good news that Jesus 
lives and that he's here to help those who need help. That's number one, but I've learned through my walk, sometimes you can't just tell somebody Jesus saves. Sometimes you're in a situation where you have to show them the gospel. Mm, that's good. You know, because not all the time people want to hear your religion or about Jesus, but you have to show them uh, mm. in operation. Oh. Mm. Smile goes a long way. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Somebody dropping something and you picking it up and saying, no problem. Just stepping aside and letting an elderly person move by in front of you or helping somebody with something that you know they can't do on their own, that goes a long way. And then you can say, Jesus loves you. But to show it to them first and mm -hmm. then say, Jesus loves you, goes a longer way than just saying, Jesus loves you. Because not all the time people are in a position where they can hear just that they have to see it in action and that's sometimes where the church falls short at that we don't put it in action all the time mm. we don't show people the love of christ i mean that's the uh second commandment that jesus left us with love your brother like you love yourself right yes yes so we have to show people the love of Christ mm. in such a horrible world that we're living in right now. Jesus. I think more people are looking for love than are even talking about it. Mm. And we're falling short with showing it to them that we love them. We rather, uh, I'm not going to go into what we rather do. <laughs> I hear you, Elder. I hear you. <laughs> Holy Ghost just checked me right there. Okay. Right, right. right. <laughs> and, and but it's about it's about showing love. Yeah. That's what it means to share the gospel to me. Showing people love. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you were talking, Elder, it what came to mind is a a, a, a term that I hear used a lot, uh, talk is cheap. Uh, like mm -hmm. said, a lot of people are saying a lot of things um, and a lot of things are being verbally expressed. But, you know, um, I, I used to hear my grandmother say, I could show you better than I, got, than I could tell you. Uh, mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I could show you Amen. better than I can tell you. And uh, once you show a person, it's just like it's just like fishing. You can go out there and tell them how to fish, and you can go and fish in front of them. But when you show them, um, then you've given them the ability to do it themselves. And Amen. you know, and I think Sister Candace said in, in the lesson prior to last week that first, that once the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you shall be witnesses, and so He empowers or gives you the spiritual subpoena. Yeah. To be empowered to be a witness for him. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Yeah, next question. Why do we as believers? That's the one we went to HSBC with you called day before. Apologize. Why do we as believers share the gospel? I'm gonna I believe take it's our responsibility. It's, I'm gonna take it's our responsibility. Um, we we don't we don't do it because we, we're not saved just to say that we belong to a, a fraternity. Um, we we are saved that we might be an example to somebody else to help them get saved. <laughs> so we we don't we share because that's what we're supposed to do. Mm. 
Yeah. And to add to that, um, we got to remember that when we're when we when we're uh, walking, uh, Matthew five and sixteen says, "Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works." Yes, sir. Yes. And then after they see your good works, and this also goes back to what the elder was saying, uh, then comes the glory, which is in your father. So we have a job to do ourselves before the glory can even be given. So, you know, uh, when, we, when we pull them in, there's more to pulling them in than just pulling them in. You know, so um, I believe that in this day and time, we are, we are getting ourselves situated. We should have been situated. <laughs> uh, we, we, we're behind the eight ball, so to speak. Uh, and um, time is steadily winding up. So we have to make sure that we're postured correctly when it comes to this. And, um, you know, uh, in sharing, I, I I, I know they always sharing is caring, but in this sharing is caring because the end result is what you're trying to get to. And that end result is not just for one person. That end result should be for everyone that we're connected to. So it's sort of like you not, not to use our cliche, not to use our uh, cliche, but divine, you know, if, if all the branches aren't trying to work together, then how can the tree grow correctly? You know, if the branch is trying to be the root, then there's something wrong. You know, so we have to make sure that we're in place and we have to make sure that not only are we in place, but we're, we're certified and approved to, to actually do what you're, what you're saying and, and sharing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the main reasons why us as believers, why we share the gospel is because one is we were commanded to, right? Jesus said, go and make disciples. <laughs> he tells us to go. And then he tells sure, us, sure. then he told then he tells us again in Acts one and eight, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Glory to God. And ye shall be my witness. Right? So the, the 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 power we receive is not to keep for ourselves, but is to go and be a witness to those around us. Uh -huh. That's good. Yeah. So why are these our, our, our opening questions? Our, our subject for tonight, we're reading Acts chapter 2, verses 22 to something. I don't know if you remember what verse it is. 41. <laughs> and what, what, what this is actually an example of is Peter sharing the gospel on the day of Pentecost. So yeah, do I have any volunteers who would like to read? All right. You said to 41? Yes, 22 to 41. Yes, ma'am. Okay. If I sound like I'm in kindergarten, it's not because I can't. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, maybe it is because Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by, mm, move out my way, by miracles, this is, and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you. As ye you yourselves also know, him being delivered by the, by the deter, dis, determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain. Mm. Yeah. God, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death because it was possible that he should be, hold, be beholden of it. 
For David speaketh concerning him, I for I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, and I should not be I should not be moved. There, therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad. Moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope. Because thou wilt will not lead my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Then, no, thou hast made known, wait a minute, thou hast made known, made known to me the ways of, of thou, uh, the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy continence. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the pa patriot David that is both dead and buried. This Buried, wait a minute, something buried, dead and buried. And the sepulchre is with us unto this day. Therefore, mm. mm. being a prophet and knowing that God has sworn with his oath to him that of the fruit of his the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would he would raise up Christ to all to sit on the throne. Oh my gosh! Okay, maybe first, first thirty one. Would anybody else like like to read also thirty one to forty one? Somebody be nice. <laughs> All right, mother, I I will read. Now you said, and you you just finished with verse thirty, correct? Yes, verse thirty one is the next one. Okay, he seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This wow. Jesus hath God raised up whereof we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. Mm. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom yeah. you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now, when they had heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. For the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they had gladly received this word, were baptized, and the same day, they were added unto them about 3,000 souls. Mm. The word of the Lord. The word of the Lord is blessed. Word is blessed. Amen. Amen. As always, what stands out about this scripture? Wow. Why? Okay. 
And okay, we have the promise of the resurrected Christ. Mm. Now he was spoken of way before he ever came on the scene as a in human form. He was it was promised that he would come and that he would be made he would be seated with God in heavenly places on the throne. And after his coming and I, the, the salvation of those who believe, would we would become witnesses to the gospel of, of Christ in order to be able to share that gospel. Um, let's see. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. and what was God was saying that and he was telling he he said that how did he say that that um that you should oh god how did that go and he was telling them to sit and I'm, and I, I'm gonna say it in the words that I can say it in that instead of worrying and 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 fretting with your enemies just sit and and let him handle it and when it's over, you'll have victory because he, your enemy will be under your feet. He'll be your footstool instead of him whipping you and aggravating you. Let God handle him. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. What stands out to anybody else? What I also see is clear that um, it, it's 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 amazing what happens when a person yields themselves or says yes to God. Mm. They and and once that uh, elder uh, Hendricks, once the anointing of God is on them, he uses them and gets the best out of them. Mm -hmm. And so we find Peter, that same guy that would cuss in a moment, cut somebody's ear off, you mm -hmm. know, be quick to say something without thinking. Now is talking almost like a theologian. And he mm -hmm. addresses the religious crowd. He addresses the, the, the Gentiles that are listening. He addresses everybody. He gives everybody something to think about. And he, get, and he makes the invitation that you could have it too. And uh, so what stands out to me is it doesn't matter where you come from or what you got going on or what you think you don't have going on. Because some of us feel like because of what we have done in our lives that we don't qualify. Well, you know, God doesn't call the qualified, but he qualifies the call. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Maurice. Um, he, he, he qualifies the called. And when he, when he does that, um, he uses them in unordinary ways. And, and, and I'm grateful about that. Um, oh. uh, sister Gwen, uh, I know you got something to say about it. Thank God for the incoming of Dr. Walter Davis. Oh, oh y'all trying to act up tonight. Y'all in trouble now. Y'all in trouble. I got backup. I got backup. I got backup. For those who just joined in, we're reading Acts chapter 2, verses 20 to 41. Right now, we're focusing on 31 to 41. Yeah. What stands out to you about this scripture? 
what what I like what what, what Pastor said. I like I liked how how he pointed out Peter, this person, the, the one who 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 was cussing, the one who denied Jesus, the, the, the same one who the the same one who 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 wasn't perfect. Uh-uh. Yet he's the first one to stand up and actually share the gospel uh-huh. in this capacity. He's the first one to, to stand up and we, we see that today at Pentecost, he, he receives power, he receives his boldness and he stands up and he shares of the good news. He, he shares of, of who Jesus is. Oh. Right. And what, and, and, and it didn't take a lot. It just took him to, to realize like this is something that we need to share. Can't keep this all to myself. What I like is that people were receptive of what he was saying. Right? They said, "What what what must we do?" Right. What must we do? You're telling about this. How can I participate? <laughs> and what what really amazes me is verse forty one. Where, where where it says they gladly received the word, they were baptized. Mm. In the same day, they were added unto them 3,000 souls. 3,000 souls were added because he stood up and shared the gospel. What would happen if we all shared the gospel? How many people are waiting on you to tell them about the good news? Wow. Mm. That's a- right. All these, all these people were here in Jerusalem for this festival. They, they were here. And when they got there, they ended up encountering the, this Pentecostal experience. They didn't understand what was going on. Peter stood up. He explained what was going on, and he shares the gospel. And be, by him sharing this gospel, they're able to make a decision to say, you know what, I want to participate in this, All right? We, we, we see in verse 37, they said, now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said it to Peter and unto the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? There's another scripture that says, um, what must I do to be saved, right? right? The guy's crying out, what must we do? Right? It all started because someone decided to take the time out to share the good news with them. Why is it so important that we as believers, that that we share the gospel, that we come out and we go and tell people of this good news? Simply because how would a person know if they don't hear? Mm -hmm. That's good, that's good. Mm -hmm. How would they know? If they don't hear. How can they hear? Oh. Mm. And and you know, when you said that, Sister Candace, it just it just brought something to mind. Um, you know, when when we truly operate as the example is given here, you don't have to push somebody to move or to do mm. because something's gonna happen within it. They, the what the Bible said that they were pricked in their hearts. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, uh, God God bless Sister Courtney, who used to be with us and has gone on to be with the Lord. The first day she came to the church, yes. she was pricked in her heart and she said, yes. this was the best day that I have ever had in my life. Mm-hmm. And we were having a second service that day. She went home, prepared some food and brought it back to share with other people. Yes, I remember that. Yes, and and so 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 when we are truly operating in the way that God wants us to operate, we don't have to worry about whether people are going to get involved mm. because they're going to get involved. So so we yeah. have to ask ourselves the question sometimes that when people are not getting involved, have we really met the conditions? Have we really um, operated in the formula? that God has given to us. Uh, Mm. Some people are trying to share a gospel 
of a God, a, a, a Christ that they don't even know. And, and, and so they're trying to move like the seven sons of Sceva. But uh, if you truly have been filled with the spirit of Ayabaoshikabahaya, if you've really been filled with the spirit of God and God is moving on you and you do as he tells you to do, then there's going to be a response. I'm sorry, Sister Pam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, well, no, I'm not. Uh, there's going to be a response. And so our job is not to worry about whether somebody is, is going to get it. We just got to do what the Lord tells us to do. Mm. That's good. That goes to night, into next week's lesson also. But that's good. We just got to do what God tells us to do. He tells us to go. He tells us to go and be his witnesses. He tells us to go and share. He tells us to go and make disciples, teaching them. Teaching them. He tells us to go. He doesn't tell us to tell us to stay in our congregation and sing songs to one another and look at one another. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say do that. No. But he says go. <laughs> he says you shall receive power after the Holy Spot after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be my witness. His, our commandment is to go. Right. Many of us we 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 experience the goodness of God. Yeah. Many of us, we, we experienced his saving power. Many of us, we were messed up and tore from the floor up. Oh. Because somebody Ooh. decided to share the gospel oh. with us. Because somebody decided to tell us about the goodness of Jesus. Because somebody decided to take the time out and tell yeah. little old you, little yeah. old me, tell us that God loves us, that he cares about us, and that he sent his son to die so that we might have life. Because of that, Oh. We were able to make a decision to say yes to Jesus. Yes, yeah. Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. All because I decided to tell you. Right? It, 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 it didn't take a different thing, but it took somebody sharing this good news. Yes. On this day, Peter stood up and shared the good news with all who was there. And because of this, we see 3,000 souls say yes to Jesus. Yes. Mm. All because he had a little bit of courage and received some Holy Ghost power. So he stood up and shared this gospel. Yeah. My God today. My God today. Mm. What would happen if we all had some faith and some courage to stand up and share the gospel with someone around us? Absolutely. May I say something? Go ahead. I bless everyone. Oh, also, let's, let's also look at it on this, this wise. The, the time of this great occurrence was prepared. They were already at a Pentecost, a feast that they were familiar with. Mm. And something <laughs> unfamiliar took place. Well, uh, come on here. Come on. Many times we already are familiar with the type of service we're going to have when we have invited guests. We know all, all like, like for, for instance, let's just, let, let's keep it home. The, the revival that Pastor Ross has, uh, God has given to him these Sundays. Based on who the person is, you're going to get the response from the people. You know, you invite certain people. Oh my God, God's going to move. He's going to do this. He's going to do because it's a familiarity with that. Mm. They went to Pentecost every year. It was a yearly event with the Jews to the point where people from all their diaspora, as they called it, came. So, like in the Church of God in Christ, the Holy Convocation, it is sponsored by the Church of God in Christ. But Pastor Wars can tell you, everybody comes. Everybody. Mm -hmm. You've been there, Candy. Everybody, even people who don't like us, are there. <laughs> right. But so, so, and, and, and it's one of the highlights, one of the most, most highlight uh, festivals, and it became more of a festival 
than a religious um, gathering. Order, gathering, thank you, that, that God ordained for the Jews. And then something unexpected happened. It happened. It's something unexpected. First of all, the success of this is chapter act two, chap, chap, Acts chapter two is the obedience when Jesus told them after he resurrected before he as he was ascended, go back to Jerusalem, to the upper room and tarry there to you be endured with power. This was during Pentecost. And that's why Acts chapter two, it says, at, at the, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, 500 was up there, 380 left. Maybe mm. they had to go to Pentecost. I don't know. But the 120, including Christ's disciples and his mother and his brothers and sisters and her entire, his entire family, were the first recipients to receive the infilling of the power of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. And all these people heard them speaking everyone's language, but watch this, saying the same thing, speaking the wonderful things of God. Mm. they never saw nothing like that before why because they were literally gods on god's time the impact was that they were on god's timing and that's why peter was able to say what you are singing we're not drunk as you suppose now it being the third hour of the day but this is that which was spoken by the prophet joel this is prophetic. This is a prophecy literally being fulfilled. So I believe that when, when we go out to minister, we want to see an impact of the world. Uh, many people being saved and filled with the Holy Ghost coming in droves. Um, that has to be led and ordained by God. Because the Bible says that it's the Holy Ghost who convicts. Yes. Yes. You know, and, 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 and it's not that we're not supposed to witness. We're not supposed to want, the Bible says one planted, another water, but it's God who gives the increase. The, 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 the power of God took over Pentecost. It literally took over Pentecost because of the timing and the obedience of the disciples. And because they unveiled themselves into the Holy Ghost. And when the demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost began to happen, and these people witnessed it, it was the Holy Ghost that did the drawing, not the disciples. That's right. <laughs> he didn't call this attraction to himself. Mm. He just stood up because he, it was his time. Lord, I believe that might be alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think I, think I heard a prophetic word right there. It was his time. Mm. There were 11 disciples. They had to literally take time out to vote for who was going to take Judah's place, a man by the name of Matthew, whom mm. you do not hear about in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but according to the prayer that Peter prayed, was yet in the mix. He was there when Jesus got baptized, heard the Father speak out of heaven. He was there when mm -hmm. Jesus got crucified. He was there when Jesus got loser resurrected. He was there when Jesus... So sometimes you may not be mentioned, but when you're there, it's your time to be put in so God can pour out. I just said mm -hmm. something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because he mm -hmm. said, we cannot receive what the Father had promised us until we fulfill this seat. We, we, we was 11, we were 12, one is gone. This law, something has got to be incomplete. Something's got to be in place in order for the fulfillment of God to take place. Mm. And they were already there, waiting, praying, tarrying. But when they did that, mm. when they obeyed God, and because of Peter's boldness, standing up, not that he was greater than the other disciples, because the Bible says, that the the the, 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 uh, the Holy Ghost used all of the disciples, but he came to the forefront. There was no jealousy. There was no ending. You didn't see no dis dis dissension between the apostles. Oh, Peter, why you got to be the one? Why you got to be the one? Right? Andrew's the one who brought him. His brother was the one who brought him to Christ. And yet they were all submissive and one accord, with one accord, not on the call, but with one accord. Okay. 
And the Bible says, and 3,000 was added to the church, but it just didn't stop there. The church grew daily because they kept this going. They kept it going. One of the successful things about the Azusa experience we had in 1907 that Bishop Mason received the Holy Ghost is because they kept the prayer going. And you asked the question, what would happen if we kept, what, what we're doing right now, if we kept it 24 hours? Somebody's going to, somebody's going to wonder what's going on at True Vine. Mm. If you kept the prayer going 24 seven, mm. different shifts. I think I'm gonna leave that alone. Mm. All right. And you know, when you said that, I, I heard something because you said 380 left. It was mm. only 120 that remained. So the majority of the crowd left and a smaller portion stayed and the Holy Ghost didn't come immediately. He didn't come on the second day. Mm -mm. He didn't come on the third day. Uh, he didn't come on the fourth or the fifth day. At some point, somebody might have been thinking in their mind, did I stay for no reason? <laughs> Hello. It, 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 am, I, am I here for the right reasons? Oh. Or did I, am I wasting my time? He didn't come on the sixth day. He didn't come on the seventh day. He didn't come on the eighth day. But on the 10th day, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, when it fully came, that's when the conversion took place. So, uh. so, so, thank you, Holy Ghost. So as we do what we're doing and we're doing what God has told us to do, <coughs> let us not be, let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season, hallelujah. We now by the behold. We shall reap. We shall reap. We shall reap if we faint not. I'm sorry. We shall reap if we faint not. Hallelujah. Elder Gwen, I haven't heard you, and, and I know you got something to say. Hallelujah. Hmm. Mm. No, I was, I'm just listening and um, what stands out to the me, me is the fact that this, this, this speech that Peter gave after he was filled, he was empowered. Mm you know, and he was able to tell them exactly, you know, what Christ came to do. And, you know, there's a lot of people that believe that Jesus, first of all, he didn't exist, doesn't exist. And, you know, and it's a very hard concept for people to accept that he came. Yeah. He was a promise. Yes. He was the redemption back to God. And that concept is very hard for people to accept and believe. They find it hard to believe that God loved us so much that he gave. Um, and it's very difficult for us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to others. And I'm not saying th those of us that's on the line, it's because we are still grappling with it ourselves that he did it for me. Mm. Hallelujah. He did it for me. Yes, oh. Lord. Hallelujah. That's when it is personal. And sometimes I sit and I reflect and I go, Lord, how much how, why did you love me so when oh. i had no intentions of loving you living for you now this is not necessarily before i got saved but even after i accepted jesus christ i still had difficulty understanding this salvation that if i messed up 
that he didn't discard me like a piece of garbage, that he loved me enough that he wanted to reconcile me back to himself. Mm. And the song that fell into my heart as I was listening to everybody was love lifted me (laughs) when nothing else could help. Love lifted me. And that's why it's so hard for us to love each other for real. Because as soon as you say or do something or don't call me or don't text me back or don't support me or don't say happy birthday to me or you don't come to my function or, you know, soon as I feel like you've let me down, I withhold my love from you Mm. because I've got to teach you that you hurt me. Mm. And I think about what Jesus experienced, his disciples walked with him. He talked with them. He ate with them. He fed them. He, and they, some of them still messed up. And Peter being a prime example. Yes. One of yes. Them but after he was filled with the Holy Ghost, he was the one that stood up. See, oh, yeah. the love Glory of Jesus God. Christ could make Peter stand up and proclaim that gospel of Jesus Christ when he knew that not too long ago he had denied him. Hallelujah! That he had cut off the ear of the soldier. That he had an anger issue. That he was cussing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And and I just I, this is the most powerful message. That's why we share the gospel because only Jesus can love us past mm. our faults yeah past present and future and i'm gonna set up and let somebody else say something elder sisters on the line both and, my elder sisters eh, and not only did he love us the most but he loved us first mm. <laughs> before i can make up my mind to come to him he's just he's demonstrated his love towards me while i was yet a sinner yeah. <laughs> while i was in error while i was off Thank you. While I was yet focused on myself. Right, right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I didn't even love myself, he loved me. Yeah. It's, something, it's something that Sister Gwen said that that, that 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 triggered in my spirit. They saw a man not too many days before cursing, denying. Right. Yet following Jesus. Remember when Jesus was 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 arrested and they said, oh, that's one of his disciples. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know him. They uh-huh. heard him. They saw his life before. Peter was not unknown even before he got saved. He was a fisherman. He was a great fisherman. And even though fishermen at that time was looked down upon, it was a very necessary occupation. And he was an experienced fisherman. So Peter was known and his attitude was known. So to see this man rise up mm. and speak a different speak a different language and a different tune from I don't know him, but guess what? I'm here to recommend him. Yes. It intrigued. And, and, and I think our greatest testimony is our life. Yes. And even when you go through. Even when you go through. Even, and, and I'm saying that because the pastor was know this. In 1994, my sister died. When my god sister died, and 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 I was going through so many things, different challenges in that year, Mother Denise. I th- I said that was it, God. No more. I'm tired. Of, you lied to me, and I'm, I'm sick of I'm sick of these promises. And and, and uh, I was working at the hospital, and I, I I decided I'm going to backslide. I'm going to go back out in the world, and I didn't care who knew who knew it. I didn't care. I left the church. Didn't didn't preach. Wasn't prophesying, none of that. And then uh, went back to smoking and drinking and acting up and cussing and you, you name it, I did it. And the people at my job saw it. And um, I said, I'll be right back. I'm going out for a smoke. And one of the people said, you're doing what? I said, I'm going out for a smoke. And she walked up to me and had tears in her eyes. She said, Walter, please come back. Please come back to God. This is not you. I don't know this, Walter. I don't like this Walter. I want the Walter that knows God. Yeah. 
I need the Walter that knows God. I, I, it, I, it, something about this person, what she said to me, and I was so angry. And so, and we all get like that. I don't know if we all get there. We all get there. You can become so angry. You want to just throw in the towel and you go back and retrieve those old things. But when those old things are passed away, you can try to go back all you want. It won't work. No. You won't be satisfied. What I how, how that but how the Ella Gwen, how the old saints used to say it, things I used to do. Yeah. Can't do it. It's no not more. that I won't do it no more. I can't do it no and more. It don't work. Mm. And I mean I had the cigarette in my hand, about to walk out, out of the hospital, go out and smoke. And she walked to me. She said, I don't like this Walter. I don't know this Walter. I need the Walter that knows God. And I just looked at her and, 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 and saw her crying. She said, and she said, we all talking about it, Walter. We don't know we, we, what's going on. No, please, you need to come back to God because we need, we need, we need that Walter. Mm-hmm. That's the Walter we need. And I mean, mind you, I'm hurting, I'm upset, frustrated, but even in the midst of all of that, I was supposed to be an example. Yes. Mm-hmm. And even in that state of mind. A soul was reaching out to me saying, I need that Walter that's going to bring me to that God. My God. And, and, and it, was the, it was the New Year's service that I, I, I was able to, I had to give it all up. I had to give up my sister. I had to give up everything that went on that year as I was going into the new year. And they saw the change and they were happy. So was I, because I wasn't going to hell. (laughs) (laughs) But even when you're going through saints, even when you're going through, somebody still sees the God in you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when you, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. And even when you're going through, verse 37 still rings true for the saint and for the sinner. <laughs> because it happened for Brother Walt. That's it. It says, now when they heard this, when you heard her, you were pricked in your heart. Yes. That's lit. <laughs> yes. And that's just like us. Sunday morning, we might come to church and weight it down with different things. But when we hear the word of God, sometimes it pricks us in our heart and compels us to do the right thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. To turn it around. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It compels us. It draws us. It brings yes. us into. Yeah. And sometimes we might be like, the brother and I said, what shall we do? What shall we do? And what Walter had to do, what we all need to do, verse 38, he says, repent and be baptized. Mm-hmm. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the mission of your sins and ye shall receive the gift of, of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. It, doesn't, it doesn't take much. <laughs> It says repent and be baptized. That's all you got to do. Repent and receive. Oh, Holy Spirit. Mm. Mm. My God. What I love about this gospel is that it's not so, it's not so complicated. <laughs> what I love about the gospel, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you have done. It doesn't matter where you've been. Doesn't matter what activities you may have participated in. When the Lord begins to prick your heart. Mm, thank you, Lord. Huh. Mm. 37. They were pricked in their heart. And they said, What shall we do? And the answer was simply repent and, bap- and be baptized. <laughs> repent and be baptized, and he shall receive. The gift of the Holy Ghost. My goodness. Repent. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Believe. Believe on these things. 
Repent, believe, and you shall receive. Yeah, yeah. What I love about this gospel, doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't matter what you have done. Doesn't matter who you've been with. Doesn't matter if you did it yesterday. Doesn't matter if you did it five minutes ago. Doesn't matter if you did anything before you logged on. If God is pricking your heart, all you got to do is repent, believe, and receive. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what I what I love about this gospel that it applies to everybody. This gospel is for everybody. This gospel is for you. This gospel is for me. This gospel is for Pastor Ross. This pastor. Uh, this gospel is for, is for Walter. This gospel is for Sister Gwen. This gospel is for everyone. Yes, God. Gospel is for the person who's listening on the live. The gospel is for the person who's listening to the repeat. This gospel is for us. Hallelujah. Mm, yes, God. The, the, this message is for us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Peter, Peter stood up a boldness and said that this same Jesus that you crucified was raised from the dead. He stood up and, and shared these things. He said, he said, but but he was raised from the dead and he's been exalted to the right hand of God. Yes. And all you have to do is believe that he is so. You can be brought into this kingdom. This gospel, this gospel is for us to share. This gospel is also for us to receive. Yeah. I think the power of the pricking of their heart is because he pointed out to them, I was, as you were speaking, I was looking at verse 36 when he says, this same Jesus whom ye have crucified, <laughs> mm. In other words, you killed him so he could one day live in you. Mm. Oh my God. Because they all seen G, they all heard of him. They all saw the Bible says let us know that he was crucified on Calvary's cross, the highest mountain at that time. You could see him afar off. Crucifixion was a drawing event that it brought people all over. But so they witnessed who, what Jesus did while he was on the cross, crying out to his father, asking his father to forgive them, yeah. uh, telling the man on the right hand of him that to very, very, I say unto thee that to this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Uh, so um, Jesus gave his, the charge of his mother to John, asked for something to drink, and then bowed his head, his father, it is finished. They saw all that. And then he says, but we have witnessed. Uh, verse 32, for this Jesus whom had God raised up, wherefore we are all witnesses. Mm. We know he's living. This is why I'm able to speak boldly. So, so, so maybe there may have been some people that, you know, uh, that was convicted for crucifying Jesus falsely. Because remember when he, when he bowed his head and gave up the ghost, the centurion said, truly, this must be mm. the son of God. It's amazing that you, you kept saying it's this gospel for everybody because I was just looking at something online about celebrities who don't believe in God. Uh -huh. And I was reading that, Mother Denise, and, and for some reason, it began to bother me. And I said, Lord, have mercy. The Bible says, you know, uh, uh, the fool said in his heart, there is no God. Uh -huh. They are already corrupted. And I said, my God, what, what can we as the saints do? For these people, and the Lord spoke to me right then and there. He said, "Just pray for them." Right. Just, my saints. That's the key. That is the key. When when we pray and turn, mm. Mm. literally, pray and turn. We pray and turn. Then the world will turn. Because believe it or not, the world is looking at the church. Yes, they are. The world, every time something took place in the world, they turned to the church. 9-11, they turned to the church. What was that war in the 90s under Bush, Pastor? Um, the cold, what they called it, that war? Contras. Yes. Mm -hmm. You saw every church open 20 Four, seven, even the Catholic Church.
because people thought a World War Three was about to take place. Every time something catastrophe, some type of national catastrophe, like what's going on right now with all these hurricanes, the people are turning to the church because we need to turn to God. And we will see this. And that's the time for us to take advantage of this situation for the winning of souls. Peter hey. said, you know what? We're gonna, we may never get this opportunity again. Let us preach to the gospel. And 120 became 3,000 plus. Mm. And as the world turns and mm. realize that they're at the edge of night, mm. they will find out that they need a guiding light because they only have one life to live. Mm. I'll let you preach that. Mm -hmm. All right, Pat. All right. Elder, Elder, uh, y'all, I've been silent too long. Uh, mm. I know I got to preach Sunday, but it's bubbling over. Elder Tiffany has been quiet. That's all I will say. Elder Our friend Tiffany, on the line. Come on, come, come on in, come on in. Elder Tiffany has been quiet. That's all I will Praise say. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God uh, bless you. And so... Um, I was, I was in transit, um, and, uh, I, I literally just walked in the door, but as I was in transit, I was listening <laughs> and I was laughing to myself because as I was listening, <laughs> I literally heard God say, remember when you were Peter? Mm. <laughs> My God. And I'm like, <laughs> this is how I talk to the Lord. I'm like, dad, yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I remember and I never, I was never in the position where I denied God. But my actions didn't say that I knew him either. Um, today, for a hot second, I was I was tested, Prophet Davis. Um, I was tested, Elder Gwen, and I said, you know what, the the Lord will bring back the word that you just preached. And um, I was taking my daughter to the mall. She was meeting up with her friend, and um. While we were on, I'm, I'm scared of the train. I ain't no punk, but you know, germs are still very real and people are crazy. But so, so as we were on the bus, um, this lady, she pulls out her um, pen. It's a, what's it called, Jada? The, um, the thing she was smoking. Oh, the, the, vape. Vape, the, the vape, vape pen. The vape. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, it, it doesn't really phase people around you, but because we're on a butt, uh, and it's yeah. enough stuff going on. And so there was a young man sitting next to her like, oh my gosh, miss, are you getting ready to get off the bus because you really, like, you're doing a lot. Uh, and uh. like, you're, you're irritating me. And the woman just starts... I mean, she wasn't directly speaking to him, but as close as she was speaking to me, like if if I was looking directly in her, you know, in her direction, mm. you would have thought she was cursing me out. And so this lady started just cursing and going off, whatever, whatever. And the young man wasn't nasty to her. He just said, is this your stop? Because she started fidgeting. I said, okay, now, what you got to do is you got to understand when that Holy Ghost resides on the inside of you, demons and spirits can't sit still yes. because so they true. recognize you. Mm. Yes. They recognize you. And so uh, she started fidgeting or whatever. And so I looked at her. And when I looked at her real fast, she looked up mm. and she put her head down. And she right. put her head down. And... Um, the young man said, I just, I just want her to get off the bus. I said, shh, she going to get off. And she started again, and I looked at her, and she got quiet. 
And as the bus pulled into the next stop, we was we was getting off the bus. And she was running to try to hurry up and get off the bus before me. Oh no, you're gonna wait for me to get off the bus. Mm-hmm. So I, I grabbed Jada and I and you know, Jada got off the bus and then I got off the bus. And I watched her uh. watch me. And sis almost got hit by a car. Mm. I looked at Jade. I said, look, 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 look at her. She almost got hit by a car because she was watching me. But I had to realize, first of all, Tiffany, you're not the same person that you used to be. Mm. Um, Second of all, um, (laughs) when the Holy Ghost has made his presence known, Mm. demons don't have a choice but to flee. That's good. But remember, Tiffany, when you were Peter mm-hmm. and you was cussing and you was handling situations differently, not so much denying God with words, but denying God because of your actions. Mm-hmm. This don't speak salvation. This doesn't say, you know, because once she started cursing, I could have took offense to that. And I could have snatched her off that bus so fast. But what example would I have been setting for my daughter? What example would I have been setting as a woman of God? And mind you, I got on the bus. And who's sitting on the bus two seats away from me? A young mm. man who plays the drums who has come to play at my church. So he know who I am. Mm. What would that have looked like if, if I would have reacted um, in, in, in a certain manner. Again, you go in the mall, you see all kinds of people. This man was walking up and down in the mall, uh, purposely bumping people. I stopped walking oh my because God. I said, if this man bumped me and I had to check myself because I kept saying to myself, Tiffany, you ain't even got no collar on. Just if he bump you, just go at it. Mm. But no, 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 no. When I tell you that man starts screaming and hollering and I stopped and I stood still. So that means if you bump into me, now you're doing it on purpose. So I stopped, I stood still. And when I stood still, he moved to the other side of of the, you know, the walkway. That's Mm. fine, God bless. That's fine, God bless. But I could have blurted out, you better not touch me. It could have went a whole nother way, you know. You know, but we've been in that place. But this Holy Spirit that we have residing on the inside of us, there ought to be some sign that says, wait a minute, there's something different. There's something different about, and I'm I'm laughing because I preached a message just Sunday morning. I said, I'm fireproof. Mm -hmm. You can't even touch me. I'm not even about to get thrown into a situation where I need God to, to, to step in and deliver me out of. I'm not even going to put myself in into that situation. Well, I'm fireproof. Mm. I'm fireproof. You can't touch me, so go on about your business. But I'm telling you, as I was listening, when I first got on, as I was listening, I'm, I heard the Lord say, and, it, and it's so funny because we have conversations like that. He said, remember when you were Peter. Mm. Remember when you were Peter. Mm. Wow. I think we reached the part of the lesson where I asked my favorite question. <laughs> Y'all know the drill already. <laughs> where do we go from here? Yeah. Where do we go from here? I think it starts even with self-reflection that um, in spite of how we may feel about ourselves, because I'm sure at some point Peter began to think about himself and like, man, I really did screw up, mm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and, uh, and no matter what other people's opinions are of who I am. Mm. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's based on a lie, but guess what? Sometimes it's based on the truth. 
Yes. Or whatever it is. Oh, I'm not going to go there right now. But whatever it is, um, if you can still say yes to the Lord and do what's been commanded, we can start seeing the kind of results that we need to see as we attempt to enlarge or expand the kingdom of God. Mm. Way boldness. Huh. Praise God. Mm. Anybody else? Where do we go from here? Um, the Bible says, so let a man examine himself. Mm. And I know that's, that's a part of the communion scripture, but if it is contextually, but if we pull out the principle, um, take, take that little portion and let's look, let's look at ourselves. Um, there's something that you said last week and you repeated it again this week, this mm -hmm. gospel, this good news <laughs> is, is for every body everybody it's for everybody and everybody so got we gotta get to the place where we, <clears throat> we we're not holding this gospel to outside it doesn't matter what your title is it doesn't matter what position you hold it doesn't matter if if your name is brother sister apostle or or, or one of these man-made titles that they're doing now mm. and i'm gonna leave that but mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter what it is. Our job as a, a saved individual, as a Christian, as a born again believer, as a Holy Ghost filled individual, is to spread this gospel. Because mm -hmm. there are going to be some people that never walk in the church house. And our job our job is not to lead them to the church. It's to lead them to the cross. Mm. Thank you, Father. Coming to the church is wonderful. But coming to the church without knowing about the cross is no and void. Yes. This gospel, this good news that we have, where do we go from here? So let a man examine himself. Let me examine myself. So that when I bring forth or when I evangelize about this God that I serve, that I'm not speaking one thing and my actions are speaking another. Mm. Let me look myself in there because you can be one way on social media. You can be one way in front of family and friends. You can, but honey, that mirror, that spiritual mirror is cold blooded. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> When you home by yourself and you ain't got nothing to prove to nobody, uh. that spiritual mirror is cold blood. So let a man examine himself. Let's start here. Where do we go from here? We examine ourselves. We make sure that we are in right standing. We make sure that we possess this Holy Spirit that we speak about. And then we go out to a dying nation and tell them about a living king. Mm -hmm. uh. That's good. That's good. Uh. Yes. That's good. Where do we go from here? We take this gospel and we share it to those around us. We share it to those in our word Judea, in our direct area. We share it to those in the next town. We, we go and we share. Mm. That's good. Yes. But also, where do we go from here? If you're on the line, if you're watching the live, if you haven't made a made a decision to say yes to Jesus, where do you go from here? You can make the decision to say today, 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 today. I want to know what must I do today? Mm. Today. Don't have to wait till tomorrow. Don't have to wait till next week. If you're here, you're like, I want to know. The answer is simple. 
what, what does it say? It says to repent. Repent, be baptized. <laughs> repent and believe, and you shall receive. Yeah, where do we go from here? We make decisions to say yes to Jesus. We make decisions to, to say yes. And we also, we make decisions to share this gospel with those around us. Where do we go from here? How do we apply this scripture to our lives? Mm. Yeah, how do we apply it? You can apply it by saying yes to Jesus. Uh-huh. <laughs> even if you are saved already, even, even if you already made a decision, some of us need to come back to God. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some, of us, some of us, this gospel's pricking our hearts again. So some of us, we, we realize we messed up along the way. On our, on our Christian journey. And just saying, come come back, come back, come back. Where do you go from here? You say yes to God. Yeah. We say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we need you. Yes, yes. Yeah, we, we can't make it on our own. God, we need you. We can't do this thing alone. God, we need you. Yes. Where do we go from here? I say, yes, Lord. Yeah, where do we go from here? We surrender. Where do we go from here? Yeah, yeah, I laid Evangelist. out. Evangelist. Uh-huh. Evangelist McCoy, let me, <laughs> you know, not to interrupt you. <clears throat> and I'm, I promise I'm going to be quiet after this, unless the Lord says otherwise. Um, I'm sitting, uh, Evangelist McCoy, Pastor Ross, and uh, everyone who's on the line. And <clears throat> there's somebody who's watching this or is going to watch the playback and they're going to say, <clears throat> turn my life over. I'm going to embarrass God. Mm. I'm a broken mess. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not built for this. Mm. I wasn't created for this. I love God. I want God. But I'm not built for this. I wasn't created for this. Not, 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 not so much to be a preacher, but just to walk and live a saved life. I'm not built for this. And while I'm sitting mm. here listening to Evangelist McCoy, you know, I know you know it, but you have such an anointing on your life. But as I'm sitting here and I'm listening to you, you ever think about, um, the artist Michelangelo, he painted the Sistine Chapel. The Sistine Chapel was painted by an artist with a broken brush. Mm. Uh. The brush that the artist used was broken. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the Sistine Chapel is one of the many wonders of this world. Wow. Mm -hmm. The artist, God himself, will take something broken and create something so masterful. Mother. For him to get the glory, not the broken brush. Wow, wow, but wow. For the wow. artist to get the glory. And that's how we build the kingdom. We get into a place where we feel like, I can't do this. I'm so broken. I've done this. I allowed everybody to use me but God. I've been in this place and I grew up in the projects and I, and I didn't have a silver spoon and I didn't this and I didn't that. And I ran with the best of them and I ran with the worst of them. And we find every excuse. And God is saying, I didn't ask for your commentary. I asked for your obedience. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I didn't ask for your reason and then your excuses. I asked for your, and I didn't even ask for it. I was, I think I was talking to Pastor Russ the other day and I I didn't even ask for it. It's not a request. It's a requirement. Wow. It doesn't matter. That thing stuck with me from last week and then you repeated it again this week. It doesn't matter where we are, where we've been or where we're going. 
Mm. This gospel is for everybody. Everybody. And you be amazed how God will use you to reach people that somebody else may never be able to reach. Mm. Jada will reach people that I will never be able to reach. That's it. Sister Gwen just said something very powerful. That's why sometimes you've got to remain where God got you because you don't know who you're ministering to. Yeah. Because God, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to prophesy, Pastor Walls. I'm trying not to prophesy. <laughs> but the Bible says that when Joseph was placed in prison, yeah. not only was the Lord there with him, but the Lord gave him favor and showed him mercy. Yes. Cause things to prosper in an un place that's never prosperable. A prison is not a place of prosperity. Mm. And allowed the keeper of the prison to see it and made him, it caused him to be in charge. One of his duties when you do a, a study on that is that Joseph had the power to let people in and to let people out. But he himself could not be released. He could not release himself because to release himself from prison was to release himself from the presence of God. Oh my God. And sometimes you have to see why God got you where you at through an open, through the spiritual eye. Why am I here? I had to learn that a long time ago when I would get mandated to work on a Sunday. And, and I think Sister Gwen can confirm with me with the medical. I had to go to church. I had to go to church. That's why I, that's why I chose 11 to 7 so I could be off the daytime. And it was a Sunday morning and somebody decided to call in. I got stuck. And I was not a happy camp. And when I got off of work, after working 16 hours to stop by the church, one of the prophets at the church says, the Lord had you there for a reason. Mm. You wasn't needed here. We have enough elders here. The Lord had you there for a reason. But in my final I I wasn't looking at that because it's Easter Sunday. And so you have to see through God's eyes. One of my favorite choirs, the Tom Sequina singers, I play, I play this song all the time, uh, through God's eyes. What would I see? If I looked at myself through God's eye, what would I see? Mm. Wow. Yeah. So where do we go from here? Well, I was reading in the New Living Translation that 41st verse, and it says, those who believed what Peter had to say mm. were baptized and added to the church that same day. That same day. About 3,000 in all. And when they counted back then, they didn't count the women or the children. So if they counted the 3,000 men, consider their wives. You better leave me alone, Pastor Ross. Uh, you better leave me alone, Pastor Ross. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go right ahead. Mm. I, I, I'm not trying to prophesy. <laughs> uh, if we just do the, the, the hard part is really the simple part. Yeah. Can you just believe? Ah, uh, can you just believe? believe. Can uh, you just believe? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I love that. 
Hell yeah. Go over your mama. Can you believe what really, what really stands out is that it happened. They were added to the number the same day. The same day. The they same didn't have day. to go. They didn't have to go to a new members club. Hallelujah. It didn't, didn't take have, a week. It didn't take a month. It, did, it didn't take a week. It didn't take a month. Oh, they did not have to be voted in by the trustees. Thank you, Chief. They didn't have to be examined by the mother's board. Mm. Uh, they, you know, because, you know, we, we look at all of this and to tell the truth, Peter would not even have the opportunity to get the mic in today's church because of what he did at Calvary, he would have been disqualified. We're not going to give that Negro the mic because he turned his back on Jesus. Wow. Oh, my God. But in spite of that, God was still... Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God was still able to use him. God was still able to transform him. God was still able to take him and his brokenness and yet use him to share the gospel so that other broken people can have the opportunity to believe and receive. Ba, 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 mm. yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. So where do we go from here? Some of us might be broken. <laughs> Some of us might, might might feel like we're not good enough. Some of us might feel like oh, it can't be for me because of the things I did last night, the things I did the day before. But yet this gospel is actually for you. Why? Because all you have to do is believe it. Yes. And receive it. Yes, Lord. And some of us might be like, uh, 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 uh. When we might be here, right? And be like, what do we do now? I believe already. <laughs> Your job is to go and tell of the goodness of Jesus to those around you. <laughs> well, then where do you go from here? You go and share that gospel. Why? Because <laughs> there's others who need to understand what the goodness of the Lord is. And I may be a broken brush, but he can still use me. He can <laughs> still use me. I like that. I like that, Tiffany. I may be broken. I, I got to throw this prophetic word in. Don't throw away. Don't ignore the broken pieces. Don't ignore the broken pieces. Yeah, that's, that's, what's tonight. Tonight. That's, what's, that's, that's what's going to bring you to your safety. Oh, my God. When yeah, the yeah. ship that Paul was on, mm. when the hurricane and the, and, and, and it, the storm called Eurachlodon, the cherry wow. wind, broke up the pieces. The Bible uh -huh. says they made it to the shore on broken pieces. Yes, broken pieces. Hey, hey, hey. Huh. Your faith may be on broken pieces, but you can still make it if you believe. Huh. Ooh, God. Yeah, yeah. That you may is... feel like you ain't have no hope, but if you just believe. Oh That's the only requirement you got to fulfill. You got to believe. believe. Only believe. believe. Believe, believe. It says repent and believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a sinner. I messed up. This yeah, I'm broken, but yet, but yet, but yet, I believe. Oh, God. And what do we do? We take our broken pieces. We take our, our brokenness. We bring it to God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, y'all about to have me act up on this hill. Every week never fails. <laughs> never fails. Elder Hendricks, Elder Hendricks, if it... It, wow. it, if I if if my if my brush is never presented as anything other than broken, I mm. know that he could still use me. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is good for those that are listening and that maybe what listening to the playback oh, to the young people. Uh, our youth leader is on the line, and she just had surgery. On yesterday, mm. but she's on the Bible study tonight, and she's talking to her young people. They may be broken, or they may be cast aside by others. Mm. All they got to do is just believe. Believe. Mm. Oh God. Okay. Glory, 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 glory. This gospel's for you. This gospel's for me. This gospel's for everyone. Everybody. Hmm. The only, re only requirement is to believe. Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, 
Yes, Lord. Yes. Jesus. Will there be any more questions, comments, or concerns? Because if not, where do we go from here? We go into a time of prayer. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yeah, yeah. Where do we go from here? God, yes, God. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep hearing there's just two calls for tonight. There's two <sighs> ways to apply this gospel. There's two ways to apply, apply the scripture to your life. First category is if you don't know God, to believe. Yes. Trust and believe. Yeah. Tonight, 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 you can make a decision. Yes, tonight, if you're yeah. feeling pricked in your heart. Tonight, yeah. tonight, you don't got to wait till next week. You don't got to wait till Sunday. You don't got to wait for the altar call. But it says they believed and that yeah. on that same day. Hey, Lord, mm, wait. The oh, same day. The same day. So the first way to apply this scripture is if you don't know God, if you don't know Jesus and the pardon of your sins, one to believe. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Believe, believe, believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're, we're all sinners who uh, saved by grace. So it says repent, repent and believe. Yeah, repent and believe. So so if, if you if you're here, if you're watching the live, you're watching the replay. If you don't know God. The first, the first call, the first way to apply the scripture is to accept him as God, accept him as Lord, accept him, believe that, 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 that Jesus Christ, he died for your sins and he rose again with all power in his hands. And all you have to do is believe to be, to be drafted into this family. Yeah, yeah, that's the first way to apply. And the second application of the scriptures for us who are already believers to take this gospel and don't keep it to ourselves, but to share it to those around us. Why? Because there's others out there who need to learn about who God is. Yes. And somebody's waiting on you to share this gospel. Yeah, yeah. There's somebody who's waiting on you. There's somebody who's waiting on you to, to tell them of the good news. They're, they're waiting on you to, to, to share. Yes. Somebody's waiting on you. Ooh. So the two ways that we apply is one, we, we accept Christ, but two, we go and we share this gospel. Yeah. So there be no more questions, comments, or concerns. I'm going to end in the time of prayer. Yeah. 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 You may have heard, heard, we, we, we hear it all the time. If you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord <laughs> and he was raised from the dead, you shall be saved. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. So, so first prayer we're gonna do is prayer of repentance, and everybody can say it again because because we all need to be saved. <laughs> we, yes. we we all we all need need it. So so yeah, so yeah, we're gonna go to a time of prayer. God, we are sinners <laughs> in need of grace. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, we all have fallen short, but but what we learned is that this gospel is for everyone. <laughs> This gospel is for me. This gospel is for you. This gospel is for everyone. So, Lord, we repent of our sins. Yeah, we pray that you will wash us over again. We pray that you'll purify us. We pray that you'll cleanse us. We pray that you will have your way in our lives. God, we want to be saved. Yeah, yeah, we want to be set free. We don't want to leave this call. We don't want to leave this replay the same way we came. God, we need you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God, have your way in us. Yeah, Lord, we surrender. We surrender our will to yours. We surrender our ways to yours. We surrender everything about us to you. God, have your way in us. Yeah, yeah, we, we feel you tugging on our hearts. We, we feel you moving in us. And God, we, we don't want to leave here the same way we came. So, Lord, we need more of you. Lord, we need a touch from you, God. I need you in my life. Lord, I need you. I can't leave here the same way I came. I, I can't I can't leave here the same way I came. But Lord, I need another touch from you. Lord, have your way in me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have your way in me. Have your way. Wash me. Purify me. Yeah. Transform me, God. Yeah, God, we, we don't want to leave here. Without, without being changed, without being transformed by your goodness, by your power. So God, have your way in us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And God, I pray for, for all those who are already believers. I pray that you'll give us a spirit of boldness. 
to stand firm and, and trust in the word of God, a spirit of boldness to go and share the good news to those around us, a spirit of boldness to go and share this gospel to those in our Judea and our Samaritans and to the ends of the earth. You called us, you said you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall be my witness. So Lord, equip us to be your witnesses on the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. May you give us a boldness so that so that we won't be scared to share this good news. But Lord, give us a boldness to go forth and proclaim this gospel. Yeah, yeah. Because you saved us, not for ourselves, but you saved us to go forth and to share of your good news so that we can bring more into the kingdom. So Lord, use us for your glory. Yeah, yeah. We surrender our will. We surrender our way. Use us as vessels. Use us as paintbrushes to go and share your gospel to those around us. Yeah, God, we want to be used by you. Yeah, we want to be used by you. So, Lord, have your way in us. We give your name praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We magnify your name. We exalt your name. We glorify you tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We give you praise. We honor you. We glorify you. We magnify you because you are good. You are kind. Lord, you are holy. The angels cry out, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was, who is, and is to come. So, Lord, we join in with the angels crying out to you. You're holy. Lord, you're righteous. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're wonderful. Lord, we bless you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you, God. Yeah, we honor you tonight. We glorify you. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. God, you are good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are gracious. Hallelujah. We glorify your name. Hallelujah. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Yeah, God. Hallelujah. We bless you. Bless yeah, yeah, yeah. We bless you. We bless you. We honor you. We glorify you. Do what only you can do, God. Ah, uh, yes, God. Yes, God. This gospel is for us. You died so that we might have life. You died so that we might have life and have life more abundantly. You died so that we might have life. So we walk in the newness. We walk in the faithfulness. We walk in this God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. Yes, Lord. We give you honor. Yes, Lord. We give you glory. Thank it's in you. Jesus' name I pray. Thank God. Amen. God has spoken. So let the church say, Amen. 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 Thank God for his spirit. Thank you. That mm. strives with us even when we're not right. And even though we may be broken brushes, he's still going to use us. Uh, I. Mm. I'm not at a loss for words, but I'm full. I am and I believe the Lord is going to use this as a catalyst to cause somebody to change, to cause somebody to be delivered. I so am. before you pick up that remote to turn the television back on, before I'm you pick up your phone to check your notifications for Snapchat, Tumblr, TikTok, and Facebook, before you get on Instagram, oh, begin God. to examine yourself. Thank you, Lord. And then yield yourself to a mighty God. Oh. And watch God work for you. Oh, yeah. And then watch God work in you. Yes. And remember this. There's nothing that you're going to face that you and God can't handle. Because you and God together are unstoppable. Um, Sister Tasha, did you want to address the people? All right. We're going to continue to keep her in prayer. Let's continue to pray for the young family. Uh, let us be praying for those that are not able to be in services for whatever the reasons may be. Some people are, are working. And some people are grappling in their mind because they can't get themselves together to get into the fellowship or communion. But we are praying for you. 
God. that your faith fail not. I'm going to ask Elder Hen Hendrix to have final say and pray us out of this session. God. Elder Hendrix. This was a, a <clears throat> wonderful Bible study tonight because it focuses on what happens when people's lives are changed. We get to see a change happen in Peter and he is no different than we are today. All of us have walked in Peter's footsteps from one time to another and God still saw fit to change us, to save us and most of all to love us. The word says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't just die for other people, he died for us. And we have to keep that in mind, the great gift that he has given us and has given us the opportunity to share with others. So I thank God for this particular study tonight to remind us of the great commission to spread the gospel, mm. to go to the uttermost, because that's where Jesus saves. Yes. But he needs to send some workers out there two by two, his foot soldiers, to spread the gospel. And we are to remember why we are doing it. Because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that he loves us all just the same. And we are to spread the gospel. We didn't get saved to be bench warmers. We got saved so that we may be a mouthpiece for God. Yes. So with that being said, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now. We thank you for the facilitator of the hour. We thank you for the pastor of the hour. We thank you for those who chose to dial in tonight. We ask that you will pour out a special blessing over their homes and over their lives, their families and everyone who is connected with them. And Father, I pray that you would put somebody in each one of our paths tomorrow, even tonight, that we may be able to tell them about the goodness of our Savior, Jesus Christ. So Father, we thank you for this evening. We ask that you would strengthen each one that's on this line, bless each one that's on this line in the name of Jesus until we meet again. And Father, if you see fit that we would meet again, we're gonna raise your name because you said, if I be lifted up, I would draw all men unto me. So Father, we're gonna raise your name. We're gonna lift you up so that we may draw other people unto you. We ask that the Holy Ghost continue to have his way on this line. Continue to bless on this line. Continue to move on this line. In the name of Jesus. And we'll be so ever grateful. Thank you, Lord. So ever grateful. Mm. To remember to tell you thank you for what you've done. Thank you for saving each one of us. Thank you for keeping us in the land of the living. Thank you for healing us. Thank you for delivering us. Thank you for providing for us in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. We can't thank you enough. Oh God, we can't thank you enough. Oh. That you remember us in the name of Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, everyone, and have a good night. God bless. God bless.